What's up Transformers Addict? This is Seaspray, and I'm here to do another unboxing. Got a little parcel in the mail. This one is from my good buddy Rushmode 3, aka Sergio. Uh, if you don't know who he is, check him out. Uh, great guy, one of my administrators of Transformers Addicts group on Facebook. And uh, I recently did a parcel send out for him. I just I sent him four Transformer Prime figures. Uh, one was in exchange for this, and then so on and so forth. If you want to know more about that, check out that video. I talk more about that. But anyways, he sent his parcel out before mine, uh, so I got it now. It came yesterday. wasn't able to do an unboxing, but today I am. Funny story, just quickly here. I was about a couple hours ago. I was going to do a unboxing for this little parcel here, and I'm going looking for my camera. Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Stupid me, left it in my wife's car. She's currently staying at her mom's place, but you don't need to know that. Anyways, the camera was left in her car. Um, I forgot it there, so I had to bike to her work, get the car keys, bike all the way to where the car was parked, roughly a 45 minute bike ride, and then bike all the way back home. Just to get my camera, just to record this unboxing, but not just this unboxing. You know, I wanted to make this a special unboxing because it's one of my good buddies. Um, I have lots of great friends, and for my great friends, I like to do unboxing videos just to show that love and support for my buddies. So, as you can tell, I have my camera now. <laughs> okay, so, anyway, I'm going to open this box now. So, as always, I got a knife. This time I have my butterfly knife. I just used this one recently. It was close by, so I thought I'd use it again. I'm trying to use a different knife for everything, but anyways, I'm going to unbox it very nicely. I'm just going to pierce. Oh, man, you put so much tape on here. Holy heck. Now that you put lots of tape on here, or my knife is just dull, which it is dull. Yeah, it's pretty dull. So, I'm unboxing the goodie of Transformer goodness. Okay, so I got the sides done, and I'm just gonna do this, and then the root the top will open here. One more cut, one more cut. Knife is down. Knife is down. Okay, so here we have. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. I got uh, mech tech, not stuff mech tech, whatever the prime weapons are called. Instructions. Thank you. And then here's a little note. Uh, I'm just going to read it here. Hey Clint, I hope you enjoy Starscream as much as I did. Maybe even more. Thanks for the cliff jumper. I know Starscream will be in good hands on the shelf of a collector who wants him. And don't worry, cliff jumper is in the good hands too. Sincerely, Sergio, aka Rushmo3. Very cool, man. Thank you. I'm going to add that to my list of notes. Uh, every time I get a letter from somebody, I usually add it to a little pile and I usually store it in a safe place. So, woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Wee! Woo! Oh, holy cow! What are you putting here? Holy heck! Whoa! Holy! He's a lot smaller than I thought. I'm going to quickly open this up here. So, if you didn't know, this is the Prime, Transformers Prime, Voyager Starscream. And, wow, this thing's really small in person. And it's just done slightly customized a little bit um, on the, the face fin and the missiles and possibly somewhere else I think or just the two um, customized painted red to get a more show accurate um, perspective on this on this guy but awesome wow this guy's so small he's like a large deluxe crazy crazy okay anyways this is Seasburg thanks for watching and whoa kinda ironic stir scream stir scream throne of screams that was totally by fluke and I just just realized that now as I, as I was looking down. But anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Sergio! Hey guys, welcome back. So anyways, decided to do a review 
added to this unboxing video. I'm just going to do a quick review. I'm going to do a little bit different. I don't, I've don't. i never reviewed a uh, Transformer or any other action figure in front of the camera. I usually, you know, uh, do it on my hands or whatever in front of the camera and whatnot. But anyways, I'm going to do this real quick. Uh, just a little transformation to robot. Go over it a little bit and just get some thoughts and maybe jump into posability and articulation or save that for another review when I buy one of these in pack one day. As you can see, we have Starscream, all of his glory from Transformer Prime. I do have a deluxe and Cyberverse Commander versions also. Um, very cool looking figure so far, uh, aside from the, the size, the lack of size I should say. Um, Sergio, my friend, customized this just a little bit, just to give some red on the missiles. Then you can see red on the crotch roll region. Well, his face is between his crotch due to transformation. That's what's funny. That's why I said that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to add some photos to this video also at the end. Just a couple of photos, not highly detailed like I normally add. Um, so, got this weapon here. This thing attaches to under the wing, under here, you can do it this way also, you can put this thing on top, uh, actually it goes like this, there's actually a hole, or a little port on the purple piece and a hole on top of the jet, right above the cockpit, and it does fit in there, but it's kind of awkward. I would suggest, you can, well you can do it like this, with the purple facing up, but I kind of like this one here, on this side. That way you kind of like have this little missile pods and you get this piece underneath here that shoots out. And it doesn't shoot out, but it just kind of like opens up. That's what this thing does. It lights up and this kind of thing comes out. Whatever. And I'm sure you can probably fit it elsewhere. Maybe not. So that's that. So you get this cool looking jet. A little bit of coloring on there. You got this. I don't know if that's meant to be there. This face, these two eyes, nose, and these kind of like grill teeth. You got these little missiles. Like I said, Sergio painted. They do detach, and I'm pretty sure they attach on his arms after. Of course, so you got the rockets on his arms. And yeah, that's okay. It's not the greatest compared to some of the other. Voyager Star Screams that you've gotten in the past, especially the movie one. The movie 2007 one was huge. And then you have this one. Not even a comparison. Um, totally different figures on their own, but what can you do? Um, hard times, hard times. So right now I'm just going to transform it. This cockpit doesn't open. There's no landing gear or nothing like that. Um, no other features. It is what it is. So I'm going to transform it now. I just detached these legs, keep bumping into the side. I detached the legs from the back of the plane. I'm just going to pull that down. I keep it like this for now. And now, I think I'm going to do this piece here. Just split this. And pull the wings up as far as I can, not too far. I don't want to break anything. And Take the nose cone, just tilt it up. So you got this monstrosity here. Now it seems like it wants to go down, so I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit. Pull the arms down. Now I'm just gonna take these other wing pieces and pull these up. Kind of. I'm just gonna not all the way, just a little bit, kind of give that effect, like the like the TV show. Push his head up. So now you got these um, gray pieces on top, and you got this huge gap in the middle, as you can see. You just want to just kind of twist it around a little bit. It's like a bit of a puzzle, but as soon as you find that right spot, they will go down. Now it's going to be his chest plate. And you just want to Make sure get these missiles out of the way. Put this to the side. Now I'm just going to keep going here. 
like I said, this is just a quick little review, quick little transformation. I'll do a more highly detailed one when I get another one in package, do a full review. But never done a review like this before, so mind me taking it off the camera and whatnot. But okay, so we got this here, got this here. Okay, let me get the arms out of the way. I'm just going to pull the arms out, twist them around, pull arms out, twist them around, and by the looks of it, aside from the feet here, twist the legs around, I guess, pull these wing pieces up, and I think that's it, pull the wing pieces up, get the, his high heel down, and then take his leg and twist it around, face it forward, take these rubbery knee pieces and push them up and there you have the star screen and I think this may clip in the place here it seems kind of loose it doesn't seem like it uh, like I said quick transformation quick little review I'll go over it after and check out my instructions and stuff like that and I'll add any notes but by the looks of it aside from this really skinny chest torso region and this flimsy crotch roll bottom piece that I think should clip in. Doesn't seem like it, but there it is. Transformer Prime Voyager Star Screen. Pretty cool. As you can see. Here's a Cyber vs. Commander version. This is roughly a scout slash basic size figure. And this is a Voyager figure. It looks pretty tall when it's not in jet mode. Um, which I guess kind of makes up for it, but he's really skinny, really lanky, and yeah. So you can, so you can also can put these missiles on him. Uh, they go on his forearms. And you know what, Sergio? I'm sure you're watching, and hopefully you're watching straight through this whole video and not skipping through, but. The red does add that much more through the figure, that's for sure. This would normally be gray, gray, but the red does add that much more. Um, arms can like rotate around 360. They can go in and out at the elbow. His hands can rotate 360. His head can rotate 360, he's not a little bulge on it. Uh, his pieces go up and down. Legs forward and back. Not really side to side because they have these sharp pieces. His knees can bend. Uh, he has some feet movement. Ankle pivot there. Not an ankle pivot, but his feet can move in and out at the ankle. His chest plates do kind of clip in there. They're kind of flopping around a little bit, but they do clip in there. And if these clip in, I'm sure this bottom piece here. I have to get one of those little scooters, like, you know, when he's on the show, he's riding a little scooter. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bzz, bzz. Okay. I'm blabbing here. That's it. This is Transformer Prime Voyager Starscream. This is Sea Spray. This is the video unboxing slash review uh, from Sergio and for Transformer Prime Starscream. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the pictures. And just quickly here, you know, I don't really care about this thing, so I'll post pictures uh, with this attached to this uh, at the end of this video, but that's pretty much it. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and go subscribe to Rushmore 3, aka Sergio, and check out Transformers Addicts on Facebook. Alright, see you later.